In this video, we are going to see how you can use the filters in your select statement. So that is a topic which we are going to see in this session. So what exactly we are going to see over here, how you can use the where conditions in the select statement. Why I am discussing this topic because in the Cassandra DB, it's a very tricky to use the uh, your where condition. So there is a reason to make this video. So let's enjoy this video. So guys, as you can see on the your screen, this is the syntax of the select statement. Okay, over here, I didn't include it full syntax of the select statement. Over here, whatever I am going to explain today, that only I have included. Okay, so let's begin with the syntax explanation. So guys, as you can see over here, this is the keyword. Okay, over here, you can mention your column name. This is again keyword. And if you want to use the key space, then you have to mention like this over here key space name and then dot and then table name okay after that you can add your where condition okay over here and guys i would like to tell that over here it is not very straightforward to use the where condition in cassandra it's a uh, uh, quite tricky we need to follow certain rules and what all that rules we will see in a moment but before that i would like to explain what table i am going to use in order to explain the selected statement okay so let's see that structure of the table so as you can see over here i will use employee table and in the employee table i have this many columns okay you can see over here this red highlighted or this red uh, in the red uh, color columns are partition key okay and these are the columns uh, called as a cluster key and these are the columns called as a non-primary key column okay now what exactly the partition key what exactly the cluster key and what exactly the non-primary key columns that i have explained in my last videos okay so please watch my last video if you don't know what exactly these all okay now over here uh, this is the content of my table and on this content only I am going to use the select statement. Okay, so let's begin with the very first rule. So what first rule says? Uh, first rule says that you have to use all the partition key columns only with the equal operator. Means whatever the I have over here partition key columns, I can use uh, this with the equal to operator and uh, whenever you want to add the where clause in your select query then this column has to include with the equal to operator okay guys so let me run over here uh, maybe some query over here let's say for example this one and if i will run like this and if i will give directly this column over here is equal to 1.3 then it will not work why because i didn't included this partition key and why it is giving error and why it is necessary to include because uh, cassandra database logic is only based upon the partition key so based upon the partition key only it will identify where exactly the data been stored okay so that is the reason we have to give this partition key okay and with the equal to operator you cannot use less than or greater than or less than equal to not equal to this kind of operator doesn't work with the partition key okay so this is the thing you have to take care now <clears throat> let me run over here uh, one query and let me show you the output so this is the first query which i am going to run and this will give some result why because i have used both the partition key okay over here you can see over here partition key is employee id and employee salary and guys one more thing i would like to tell over here you cannot use one of the one of the key from these two column okay why again the same reason the data is not able to identify based upon the only one key okay so that's the reason we have to use both if i will use only one then it will give error so let me use over here only employee id so definitely it will give some error so you can see over here it is giving error so that is the reason i have to use both the partition key or i can say that all the uh, partition key which is in the my table okay so this is the thing you have to take care okay now 
let me move on to the next rule which is nothing but your rule number two so what my rule number two says use the clustering column in the same order as it is defined in the table you cannot skip the sequence of the cluster key column okay so what exactly it means it means uh, if i want to use uh, like this let's say for example like this like this or maybe equal to uh, maybe this one this value so if i will use like this then it won't work why because i have skipped this one so uh, if i want to use this one then i have to use this one also okay then only then it is uh, possible to run this query and it will give some result otherwise if i will directly run this query then it will give some error so what i need to do over here i need to use this column as well so i can use over here also so let me give over here and uh, let me give some value to over here so if any room matches then it will give otherwise it won't give so this is the thing you have to take care but vice versa is not uh, applicable what exactly means if i want to use this one then it is not necessary to use this column as well okay so let me run over here so if i will run over here this query then it is not uh, required to use this one so it is giving some row okay guys so this is the thing you have to take care moving on to the next rule which is nothing but your rule number three and rule number three says that i cannot use only non-primary key column in where condition and if i want to use then i have to use the allow filtering option so that is nothing but your rule number three now what exactly it means let me explain over here so let's say for example i have written this query let me first clear this one if i want to use this one okay and uh, let's say for example i will say uh, employee commission is equal to 1.3 or 1.2 whatever so if i will run this then it will give error so i cannot use only non-primary key uh, uh, column in the where condition and if i want to use then i have to use the allow filtering option so if i will use over here allow filtering then it will give some result to me so let me run over here so it is giving some result to me okay so over here what exactly allow filtering and all stuff i will cover in upcoming videos okay guys and over here it is not recommended to use the allow filtering because the performance also degraded because of this so that is the reason it is not recommended but we will cover in detail in the upcoming videos okay so this is all about the rule number three now moving on to the next rule which is nothing but your rule number four and what rule number four says that you cannot use equal operator only on the cluster key column without partition key so same it is uh, like earlier so i cannot uh, use only equal operator or greater than operator only on this without uh, this column so if i will run uh, like this let's for example this one is equal to rakesh so i cannot use like that it will give error so what i need to do i need to use along with this columns so partition key is very very uh, mandatory okay guys so you have to use otherwise you cannot run the select statement okay guys now moving on to the next uh, rule which is nothing but your fifth rule and fifth rule is on the uh, in operator so what exactly it says in operator is allowed on all the columns of the pop, uh, partition key but it reduces the performance so uh, if you uh, using the in operator then it will reduce the performance and if it is reducing the performance then it is not recommended but still you want to use then you can use like this so let me run over here this query so what it will give it will give some result to you okay so you can see over here it is giving some result to you so these are the two rows uh, faced by this select statement okay guys this is my rule number five okay now 
uh, my rule number six uh, what exactly it says that I cannot use this operator on the partition key column so what exactly it means it means that I cannot use uh, uh, this operator this operator on uh, sorry on this columns okay on this columns I cannot use so this is my rule number uh, six now moving on to the next rule which is nothing but your rule number seven and what rule number seven says that if you want to use this operator then you can use only on the my cluster key column which is nothing but your this columns okay only on this columns only you can use along with the my partition key column okay and the same order you have to follow you cannot use directly this one you have to use this one and if you want to use this one then it is not necessary to use this one okay so this is the thing uh, comes under the rule number seven so let me execute one uh, query and let me show you the output over here so let me clear first over here so it is giving some result to me okay now if I will uh, directly use uh, this one date of birth okay so if I will use directly this column in my select statement then it will definitely give me uh, error so this is the thing you have to take care and this is all about the my rules of the where condition and one more thing I would like to tell that uh, like this also you can use some uh, functions on the selected statement so let me run over here so you can see over here so it is giving the timestamp so this is nothing but your function and uh, at what time uh, this column has been written so at this time the data has been written inside this column so this will give this one okay now maybe uh, assignment for you guys so you have to tell me in comment box what is the output of this query as per this content you have to tell me the output of this query okay this query this query and this query and this query okay guys so this is all about the select statement so guys that's all for the day and i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video then please don't forget to press like button and if you want to get the regular notification on my channel for the upcoming videos on the cassandra db then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button thank you so much for watching for the video bye take care